good morning. It's a spectacular Hunter's Day today. This is just perfect riding weather. Anyways, quick video to let you know about some upcoming videos. Um, I know I've got a, a lot of recent subscribers, most likely because of the Neil Peart uh, actual Thomas set. Um, we have a couple of other drum sets coming up, all Neil, Neil Peart uh, related. Uh, we have this, this, this is one of our sets here. And uh, there'll be a video coming up for that one uh, to take a tour of it, tell you a little bit about it and what we did to uh, make some modifications. And then we're going to show you how we're going to make these and this into a more uh, uh, accurate rendition. Now I say that because even though that the cherry wine looks to be pretty accurate, the issue that we have with the cherry wine is that the bass drums are 24 by 16 and Neil's were 24 by 14 and the Super Mahogany set that we have, uh, they have the proper size, they have the 24 by 14, but that two inches, and it makes all the difference in the world about how things will line up. So we're gonna have to do a lot more modification uh, on the on the mahogany one. Now, we're gonna show you, we have a video coming up to show you how to do some of these modifications to um, be more like Neil's without having to drill holes because a lot of the stuff is, is actually different. For example, the, the concert toms, uh, or actual concert tom clips, not the Omnisphere uh, rods that uh, you see a lot. And there is a way to do it without drilling holes in your shells. We're really not a big proponent of that. Um, we did have the opportunity recently, well, semi-recently, a few months ago, to visit, touch, play, and just, uh, God, it just, I, there's not even a word to describe the opportunity. But we had an opportunity to play Neil Peart's actual Tama set, the one that you see uh, in the video uh, on my channel. That is Neil's actual set. The owner of it uh, set it up, invited us down, and uh, we got to play it. And as you can imagine, uh, just doesn't get much better than that. I, th I think more people have probably been on the space station than have actually played that drum set. We are um, thrilled to have done so, and it's still kind of surreal that we actually got to do it. I've been looking at that set since I was a kid. Never got to see it live, so the fact that someday, we, one day we got a random call to say, hey, would you like to come and see it? was pretty huge whatever we had going that day we said sorry we, <laughs> we made other plans and we sure did we went down there at pandemic at all uh, we wore the masks and um, it was just it was a great day it was, really was a great day the owner of the set fantastic fantastic guy um, he's just well, let me just say, the set is in very good hands. Very, very good hands. He's a very knowledgeable person, a very knowledgeable drummer. Um, and so, yes, rest assured that, that uh, Neil's set is in good hands. Having said that, uh, watch, watch for the new videos coming up to build the Super Mahogany set. We have the full, complete set with accurate sizes. Um, and uh, we have a, we'll have a tour of that set when we're done. We'll have a tour of the cherry wine set coming up, and we're also going to have some how-to videos, how to do the the Starman logo on the bass drums. Uh, what else? Uh, we're going to do some other modifications that we'll we'll show you and bring you along. Some of which uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do yet, but uh, you'll learn with us, and I'll pass it along. Hopefully, it's useful to anyone who is interested in building a deal peer replica set uh, so anyways thanks again for uh 
for all the recent subscribers and thanks for watching our videos and uh, hope you enjoy the videos coming up. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye.